you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now it means that we are transforming this given figure that is in autocarry projection into isometric projection now if you look closely you will discover that this is the plan right this is the front elevation and this is what the end view are we together so we want to assemble this component and what reproduce it in isometric projection making this part point x the lowest point of what of the construction right so when you hear the word isometric the first thing you have to do is to draw your isometric axis right so how will you do that you're going to take your t square right and you're going to draw an horizontal line this way or better still you draw a vertical line this way from this point right you just place it this way and you draw a vertical line in this manner can you see that and this is your y axis and the next one will be for the z axis this way All right and you turn it again the next one will be for the x axis this way can you see that so x y z now the next thing we are going to do is that we will get the entire length here and where can we get the length you can get the length from the elevation and also from the plan meaning from this end to this end is the length and when you calculate or you add all the values given here we'll be having 5 plus 20 that is 25 25 plus 5 that is 30 plus 15 that will be what um 45 right plus 20 that will be what 65 so the entire length there is what given to be what 65 so i'm going to take my meter rule from this point this is my lowest point here and i'm going to measure 65 so with the help of my meter rule i'll place it in this manner from zero right to this point here this will be what 65 you can see that so from here to here is 65 that is from the front elevation and the next thing is the height to get the height you also get it from the front elevation and um, we'll look at this that is given to be 50 that will given to be from here to here and that is what 45 that is the height you get the height from the front elevation so i'll place it this way and i'm going to measure a distance of what of 45 so from zero to this point here is what 45 can you see that now once you've done that remember the height is gotten from the front elevation and the length is gotten from what from also the front elevation and also the plan is that okay now so and the next thing is will be the what the width is that okay now so the width is gotten from what from the plan and that is giving us 56 so if i place it this way from here to here zero to what 50 55 56 hope you can see that and what i'll do is i'll make them to form a box so in forming the box this is what i am going to be having i'll take this up i'll come here also i'll take this up can you see that and i'll place it this way then I'll, what I used to draw this, I will come up here and I'll do the same thing. I'll have this way. 
I'll come here also. I'll place it here. I'll have it this way. Right? And I'll move it to the next point. And I'll connect here this way. Then I'll close it up to this way. You can see that. Now I have drawn this out. So I can easily take this up a little bit so I have a better view of this. You can see that. So I've gotten the entire length, the entire width, and the entire height. This is also what lowest point x. So my x will be at this part here. Now the next thing is I will draw out all the plan that I'm seeing here, but I'll be using faint line. Whatever I see from the plan, put it up here. This is the dimension of what of the plan so the plan is always looking at it from the top and that is the plan so the next thing i'll just do here is start putting in dimension we know that we have distance of um, um we have um, five right this is your faint line just replicate what you have there is what i'll do so the first one is five from zero to five you can see that the next one is twenty Right after 5, we have 20. I'll come again. I'll measure 20 from 0 to 2 is 20. You can see that the next one again is what is 5. So I have from 0 again to what to 5 here, and the next one is what 15. So from 0 from this point again, I'll measure 15, which will be at this point. And we have what the 20 that we have there you can see that so what i'm going to do now is this um i will start bringing them together so if i measure this all those lines i'm going to draw them right i'll just take my set square 30 degree set square and i'll just draw my line this way look at what i'm about to do faint line first i'll come here also i'll do the same thing Faint line first. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing. That's what I'm doing now. Faint line first. I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. Faint line first. So that's what I'm doing. I want to just draw what I have at the top. Then the thickness, the plan from here is this point here to this point here. That will be somewhere around there. I'll measure 14. So taking my instrument here and I'll measure 14 from 0 to 14 this is 15 is 14 here it does before 15 All right and i'm going to draw that until it reach 20 the last line right this last line here that is where 20 is so when i place it this way i'll still use my faint line from here draw it straight down straight down to this what 20. hope you can see that then after that the next one is 15, so after 20, we have 15, and I will connect it. So, this is where it stops. So, this is what I'm having here. This point, right, stops here. Then the next one, too, stops here, right, faint line. And what does it again do we have? Then we we'll move to the rest now. So, after that. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll make it thickened. How would I mean it? Don't bring out this shape you have here. Like this. So we'll to come to the end elevation. So from the end elevation now, let's put it this way. Draw here, downward. And also draw here, downward. Can you see that? Once I've done that, draw it downward. I'll close it up from the this line here is the first line where my arrow is pointing second line where my arrow is pointing so that is the point here of the second line that i'm bringing down so when i bring it down this way i'll connect this way with it also i'm using the faint line i see that then i'll bring this to in this direction too this way right 
and I'll take this up to in this direction to this way. Now, one thing you need to understand is that if you're looking from the end view, there's a slant line. End view means you're looking from this side, and the slant line is coming from this point to this end point here. So, the slant line is coming from this point here, right, straight down to the other point. So, what I will just do is I'm going to connect it together for the slant line that they came up. So, I'll just from here, bring this to touch this if I like. I can use straight line of thinking it this way. You can see that the other slant line too means there's a thickness on the plan. You see, we have double line here, meaning the first two line is slant, right? So I'll connect this to this this way. You can see that. Then I will just take this to touch this. You can see that. And I'm going to take this to touch this. You can see that. Then I'll bring this on out too. And I'll bring this one out too. And I'm going to close it up. And I'll close it up. And I'll also I'll close it up. And I'll close it up and I'll close it up too. And I'll close it up too. Then I'll close it up too. And here too. Yeah, close your two. Close your two. Then I'll close your two. Now, you see, when you're looking at it from this side, from the front elevation, you'll be seeing this slant line you're seeing, right? This slant line you're seeing. I mean, we've seen this part, which is the right hand, this part, I'll call it A here, which is where my arrow is pointing, and you'll be seeing this part too. Looking from this side, you cannot see here. But when you're looking in from the top, that's why it's appearing as if it's a straight line. You'll be seeing this, which is my arrow is pointing, right? And you'll be seeing this. But the end view is making you understand that this first one is inclined. That's why I'm using my inclined line. Now, aside that, there's still one more thing we're not putting here, and that is the circle that we have there, right? Looking at from this side, you discover that you see the hidden line here. Hidden line means there's something in between. There's something in between this block. That's why you are saying you are using hidden line to represent it there. So there's something in between that block. And from the plan also, it's still showing the same thing to hidden line. It means there's something in between. That now, and that is that circle. So what I'll just do is, I'm going to measure. This is the five I've measured already. I'm going to bring that five down this way. And this is the other five I've measured also. I'll bring that five down this way. Can you see that? And what I will do is we're giving a distance of uh, of 20, right? A diameter of 20. And what we can see here, 22.5, meaning that uh, from the front elevation, looking at from this side, meaning the distance from here, from here is 45. So I'll take half of it, 22.5. So if I should measure 22.5, right, from this point, from 0, this is 10, 20, this is 0, 10, 20, 21, and what? This is 21, 22.5 here. This is what we have here. Right? And there's another way you can do it to get the center instead of stressing yourself with this. The easiest way to get the center is for you to join the diagonals. This diagonal from here to here. And the diagonal from here to here. will give you the center here. That is the center 22.5, right? Of that figure. So what I'll do is I'll just take my set square and draw a line across that center line this way. 
and I'll take my set square to draw that vertical line upward at this way too. Start again. So I'll now take my compass and I'm going to measure a distance of what? 22.5. Those 20. Since the diameter they're given is 20, so I'll measure 10. So you measure 10 on your meter rule from 0 to 10. You can see that. And I'll place it at this point. Then I'm going to mark 10 vertically, 10 horizontally, 10 also horizontally to the left, and 10 downward. Can you see that? So I'll just join them together. So joining them together, this is what I'll be having. All those lines, join them together. I have this. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing. I have this. Then what else again? I'll come here. This is what we have here, the 10 here. Let's complete it. Then let's complete it. Right, so this is where they are meeting here. Can you see that? So what I'll simply do here, if I've done that, I can easily just join these two diagonals here. This is what I actually need, not that other that one. I just need this. Can you see that? So if, I'm, if I've done that now, I need this point. And I need this point. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is to draw any lines from any of this end here. So if I draw from here, just like you draw your isometric circle using ordinate method. I'll connect this. Can you see that? I'll connect it to this point and I'll do the same thing from here also. Can you see that? And I'll connect it to this point. So these are what I'm looking for, these two uh, points here. So you just take your French curve. Fastest way to do it. Take your French curve and you look for the one that is best fit into that point there. Can you see this? The best fit to it. Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? I believe it is this. Alright? It is this, yes. So once I've done that, I'll just take my pencil. Then I'll just bring this one out. Hope you can see that. And we're told it's going through that figure. How will you do that? Just take your meter rule from here. Let's see what I want to do. Take this inward. Then you measure the thickness of here, which is 14 inward. So if I take this and I measure the thickness of 14 inward from 0 to this is 0, 10, and this is 14 here. So this is where it's ending. So now that is where I will now take the same circle I used to draw from here. Can you see that? The same circle is what I use earlier, right? So I'll move it to get to that point. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, you can see that. So this is what we have. So if you can compare this with what you have on the left hand side, let's start comparing and see. If I look from the front elevation, right? I'll be seeing this, which my arrow is pointing. And I'll be seeing this. You'll be seeing this inclined line like a straight line. So I'll seeing those two lines here. And you'll be seeing this circle here, which is the circle you're seeing from this side. That is for the front elevation. Now, for the end view, it's telling me that the first one I'm seeing here, right? The first one I'm seeing here is inclined. So I'm going to be seeing this part, which my arrow is pointing. Right, and I'll see this part which my arrow is pointing. I cannot see this part here, I will not see it as a straight line. Why is it a straight line? Because this line here is blocking this line here. I will together now. And we're going to be seeing what else again. Will I be seeing? I'll be seeing this straight line here you're seeing, which is what I'm seeing here. Right? So the circle here, the hidden line you're seeing from the diagram telling us that what there's a circle in through from here. So from the plan. So we also see this inclined line, which you've seen as a straight line, that's where my arrow is pointing, right? 
then you see this also which my arrow is pointing and this hidden line you're seeing here these two lines is this you're seeing and that center line is the thing that is the circle that is there so this is what you have on the left hand side transforming from orthographic into isometric and when you are told to draw in using your freehand sketch right meaning that whatever you are doing you must not use your ruler only thing you'll be using is your pencil so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching